Coming up on the Code Bet Daily, it is Friday, so we are chock full of weekend value. AFL, NRL, Women's World Cup. Stats guys going off a bit too early about who's going to win Wimbledon. But what is your favourite pick this weekend, Stats guy? Definitely on Ons Jabir is probably my favourite pick to take out the Wimbledon's uh, women's final. But yeah, I've got to get on Sammy Kerr tonight in the soccer as well. If you are single and you are around Stats Guy's age, if Andre Jabeur wins, hit him up because that dude will be cashed up. We've, of course, got the time on a donation and I take a victory lap about my beloved Sydney Swans, but it's the Code Bet Daily. Check it out. Welcome to the Code Bet Daily. It is Friday, July 14th for episode 152 of this here Code Bet Daily. I am the hostess with the mostest, Alex Donnelly. I am up and about. The Swans <laughs> ruined the Western Bulldogs' season last night. Absolutely nice. suck it, Bulldogs. I've been saying it all year. You need to play four quarters to win a game of football and yep. kick a score. Sydney Swans played about 40 minutes worth. The Bulldogs played about 80 minutes worth, and the Swans still eked out a win. The Stats guys here. How are we, Stats guy? Very happy uh, overnight with the Wimbledon uh, results. And yeah, I was very surprised by the Swans. I couldn't believe they yeah, beat the Dogs. Pretty, I pretty good win. said it all week. I said, I you think did. we're going to get this one done. Um, yeah. I'm st- I, I haven't been convinced by the Western Bulldogs all year. I had a few Western Bulldogs fans yelling at me on the internet this morning. Oh, free <laughs> kicks this, free kicks that. Oh. I saw some stats this morning. Don't For the last them. seven seasons of the AFL, the Western Bulldogs have been ranked first in free kicks four. So oh, that does not surprise one me. One night... Shut up. You yeah. weren't good enough. Marcus nah. Bontempelli did absolutely everything he could to win that game for you. He was utterly phenomenal. He was just, nuts, yeah. It's just a shame that it was him, Tim English, and Aaron Norton couldn't carry the other 19 dudes on your team. So True, true. Not at all ideal this is. Code winners daily. Let's just hear what it says on the tin. Codes, betting, and daily. we got some player props, game picks, match bets, best bets. I don't know if we're going to rate my multi today. We've got the time on a donation for a Friday. We Stats do. Stats guy, what are we looking at for the weekend ahead? Just some uh, international women's soccer tonight, just a warm, uh, World Cup warm-up, and then uh, finishing off with Wimbledon, the women's final, which I'm absolutely pumped about. I have some AFL player props, uh, some AFL and NRL over-unders for my game picks, and then, of course, the donation to finish off. It's actually... Not too leery this week, so we'll see yeah, how we'll see, we yeah. go. Gonna get and up. we'll rip straight into the game picks here. So I'll go first. I'll quick fire a few player of these props, here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, player props, whatever. Run sheet. I'm making it up <laughs> as I go. It's what happens when you let me run things. Anyway, Darcy Fogarty versus the GWS Giants tomorrow. Of course, Adelaide takes on GWS at the Adelaide Oval. Yep. Fogarty, two plus goals at $1.70 with Ladbrokes. He's done so in the last 10 games where the Crows have been favourites. He also loves playing at home. He was pretty good last week, later in the game. Uh, I think they'll struggle to match up on him on the Giants. I know Himmelberg's going to be there, but it's like Sam Taylor takes Tex and then it's like, oh, it might free up Fogarty. He'll always find a way to get a couple of goals here. So pretty happy yep. to take the two plus at $1.70. We'll roll into Nick Dacos tomorrow afternoon as uh, Collingwood take on Fremantle at the MCG. 30-plus and a goal. Mm. He averages over 30 a game this season. He's kicked at least one goal in his past six games, $2.05. I couldn't believe that one. We'll go That's on awesome. to Port Adelaide and uh, Carlton tomorrow afternoon. Port Adelaide resting a whole host of players. And yeah, talking to a Carlton fan this morning, it's like she was like, huh, some of our fans are going to get way too excited if we manage to beat Port Adelaide tomorrow. We still <laughs> suck. So I think that's uh, how James and a few normal Carlton fans feel. Anyway, they're moving to uh, favoritism now, which surprised me actually. That that should not. <laughs> Don't happen. know about that. Uh, know. Zach Butters and Adam Chera, twenty-five disposals each at two dollars. The last six away games, Butters has got twenty-five plus, and Chera's got twenty-five plus in his last six. Of course, he's got over thirty a fair mm-hmm. few times. We'll finish up on Sunday. This is the Larrys of them all. Shy Bolton, and thirty plus, Ooh. two goals, six dollars twenty-five with Ladbroke stats guy. Uh, I don't think anyone at West Coast is going to have the tank to run with Bolton all day. Nah. He was awesome last week against the Swans. He think he had like 31 and a goal. He might have kicked a goal there. I can't remember. But he had plenty he of had 31, yeah. Uh, on a dry – actually, it was one behind. And on a dry day over in Perth, which is what it looks to be, I think 30 and 2 look, looks a good option there at $6.25, especially with some of those Richmond forwards not in the best of form at the moment, which we will get into in the match game picks. But there's Lovely. four quick ones at you, punters. Stats guy, I rip straight in. 
Yeah, I'm going to the Women's World Cup warm-up match. It's the last match for the Australia Matildas uh, before the World Cup next week, uh, taking on France. Uh, sold. I'm going. I'm actually heading there tonight at Marvel Stadium. Sold out. Fifty-three thousand expected. Even the standing rooms. Absolutely, it's going to be absolutely chockers. Uh, very pumped about it. Uh, yeah, have to talk about the superstar for Australia. Obviously, Sam Kerr. Uh, she's just got the pace, finishing ability on both feet. Finesse. She can score against any team. She's got twelve goals in across her last twelve games for Australia. Phenomenal yeah. record. She's just coming off the Riders Association Player of the Year Award, which is a big award over there in England. She's in the FIFA World Best 11, which only, yeah, only uh, yeah, the best players in the world are just uh, looking up to Sam Kerr at the moment. She's been unbelievable. Uh, and Australia, the Matildas, look, look for her every time in attack, whether she's playing that centre forward on the wing. They just try and find her because every time she gets a boot on, it looks like it's gonna, she's going to score a goal. So hopefully we see a signature uh, uh, flip celebration tonight. Back at Marvel. Backflip, she loves a backflip. So two dollars sixty three. France are the favourites in this one. That's why you get a bit better value for Sam Kerr. She's always around that two dollar mark to score because she's yeah main scorer for Australia. But two dollars sixty three. I was like, you have to go for that. It's going to be a very open game with teams sort of trying things ahead of the World Cup. I think there's going to be lots of goals, and if Australia scores even one goal, it's going to be Sam Kerr. She's going to be starting up front, or even gets a penalty. She takes the penalties as well, which helps. So yeah, two dollars sixty three with the Labrokes. I uh, got to get on the superstar, Sammy Kerr. Yeah, look forward to that tonight. I'm, I'll, I'll be flicking between that and the game at the MCG. Jeez, it's going to be chockers in Melbourne tonight. How I know, it's going to be nuts. Sensational. Yeah. How yep. good. All right, match game picks. A couple of game-based bets where we have a look at a few games over the weekend. You're going to keep looking at this Women's World Cup game, so just keep rolling through it, and I'll rip in sure. tonight after. Yeah, uh, so we, it's a lot, yeah, pretty big clash, actually. We've got 10th, uh, which is the Australia in the world, 5th for France, they are in the world, in the world rankings. Uh, both expected to play full-strength size just to have a good warm-up before the World Cup starts next Thursday, and they could actually meet in the uh, knockout stages, so it's a good mm-hmm. chance to see, uh, yeah, if you go through the ranks and look who they're going to play, they could definitely uh, play Yeah, my other, bracketology so. had them playing each other Bracket- in the quarters. Okay. Yeah, so if they play in the quarters, it's probably a good time to yeah test it out and see how yeah, each team's going to go. France are favourites, just being much more experienced. They have to they have a harder uh, way to qualify for the World Cup. They beat Brazil, Italy, and Canada, who are all strong teams. Uh, but the Matildas have become a lot more experienced uh, lately, playing together. A lot of them playing in the WSL, which is the England yeah, the Premier League in the women's uh, over there. Yeah, in England. A lot yeah, more players are playing together just for their club football and also for the Matildas. So I, I really don't mind the Matildas head-to-head here with that crowd advantage as well. So the Matildas head-to-head, I'm just going to jump quickly to that, is $3.10, which I think is great value. The home crowd is going to be 50,000 Aussies cheering them on there, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, but I think it's just overall, it's just going to be a goal fest. Uh, very open game where teams are going to be trying different things. They haven't played each other for, I think it's about seven years or something. So be a bit of the unknown of some of these players. So I'm just going to go over the two and a half goals and both teams to score in these friendlies. You get a lot of goals usually, just teams just attack, attack, attack and try new things. So a dollar ninety for that, for the over two and a half goals and both teams to score. And as I mentioned before, Australia to win. Australia in their last match beat England 2-0, who were just coming off... Uh, a win in the Euros. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, no easy beats, even though I they're 10th ranked in the world. Yeah, so I think we can win it at $3.10. I was really surprised, especially home crowd. Yeah, get around the Matildas mm. here tonight. Yeah, the French did have a pretty good run in the Euros last year. They were semi finalists. And then, like, yep. Wendy Renard in defense is bloody awesome. I nearly swore there. Uh, she's fantastic. <laughs> she's yep. like just your old, like, just going to be there all time. 144 appearances, I think. And Oof, an absolute bunch of goals. Oh, she's won like 15 titles. She's an absolute wow. freak. She does take their penalties. And there's a couple of young guns in there. Uh, Lorena Fraser is someone I think we should look out for yep. uh, throughout the tournament. I reckon she'll actually have a breakout uh, tournament there. Yeah, there's always one player awesome. for each team. But yeah, really looking forward to seeing how this goes. I'm really getting pumped up very, very fast for this yeah. World Cup. And I think tonight is just a, it'll whet the Bit of a taste though, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yep, some over-unders in the AFL and NRL. So we've got three games in the AFL and a couple of NRL ones. We'll start off with the NRL ones. Uh, The Brisbane Broncos travel to Sydney to take on the Canterbury Bulldogs at Belmore. Uh, Under 44 and a half here. Uh, I think the Broncos will get the job done and the Bulldogs just don't have any firepower whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, they've actually failed to cover the line in their last nine matches at Belmore. Uh, the line's 44 and a half here with some question marks over a couple of players from Brisbane if they're going to back up or not, as well as Payne Haas, who's probably not going to play. This feels genuinely 30 to 6 5, something yeah, okay. like that. Simple as that. Uh, over in New Zealand, a massive matchup between the New Zealand Warriors Huge. and the Cronulla Sharks. I think this is another under as well. Uh, the last six over in New Zealand have gone under for the Warriors. So I think that's something there as well. 
And also you had Cronulla have the chance to absolutely blow away teams uh, last week. Was it St. George last week, I think it was, or the West uh, Tigers? One of the two. They've, they've had easy wins in their well, last yeah, two. Yeah, West, West. But yeah. it was uh, well under last week as well. So uh, I just think this will be a nice, tight, defensive struggle there. This this one feels like, you know, sort of your 14-12 or your 20-14, something like that. Yeah, very close so on the ladder. Both well. unders. And as Phil and I said on the NRL show, which you can get on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to a good podcast right now, uh, <laughs> nice. the bookmakers this week are like, oh, we don't know, 44 and under for every game. That is literally five games oh, really? this week are 44 and a half point Is, is that a glitch so, or what's going on? No, it's just, it's just what we've got to do when a bunch of players don't know if they're going to back up from, you know, the most yeah. meaningless origin game ever. And yeah, must be the Phil, average, yeah, like over yeah, under. Phil and I like are just that. like, well, last week should have just been a buy around for everyone, but anyway, that's uh, yeah. we were vice presidents of uh, common sense in the AFL yeah. and the NRL. Uh, before, <laughs> I start yelling, those. before I start yelling about five games being on in the AFL tomorrow with like f- all Stupid. of them overlapping, it's ridiculous. And then there's anyway, two shocking games on Sunday, <laughs> yeah. Like, what again, why isn't Carlton and Port Adelaide like three o'clock on Sunday yeah. afternoon instead of 4 30 tomorrow? Like, I want to watch that, but it's like 4 30, like, I got stuff to do, like, seriously. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, over-unders for the weekend. Carlton Port, we're going to start there. i got some shootout vibes. Marvel Stadium, roof agree, closed yeah. tomorrow. Hopefully the uh, carpet isn't too torn up from the soccer yeah. tonight. Uh, but anyway, shootout vibes, over 166 and a half there. Very easily to do. Port Adelaide are a very good attacking team, and we know once Carlton get their downhill skiing going, they can score very quickly. Adelaide Crows and GWS mentioned this earlier, talking about Darcy Fogarty. Uh, I think this one goes over over the 173 and a half. Four of the last five for the Crows have gone over. They're also 12 and four this season with games going over. The Unders was a game in Ballarat, the day where it absolutely poured at uh, the Adelaide Oval. And I honestly can't remember the other two, but there's two that come to mind straight away. And then we'll finish off with Richmond and the West Coast Eagles, the most highly non-anticipated match of the weekend. (laughs) Under 174 and a half and Richmond to win. That's at $2. This is just like 110 to 30. Like just, yeah, it's I just so one. nothing this game. It's like last <laughs> week with uh, Brisbane and West Coast. West Coast just don't have the power yeah. to put on a score and they don't have the defensive stocks to, you know, uh, really just shore up. But I don't think Richmond with their forward line at the moment, Jack Watts kicked two goals in the last six weeks. He's, he's been shocking. I think he's, all, he's pretty much done, Jack Riot, which I, is I think he's cooked. Legend, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then a few others just aren't going well as, at all, as well as a few injuries. No name Curvis as well for Richmond. So this, like Richmond, you'll win. It'll be gross, but you'll win. You'll help your percentage, <laughs> but the under is playing in there. I don't mind those ones whatsoever. Probably should have multi them together to see how we go. But anyway, That's we right. can all good. move on. Best bets time, stats guy. What have you got? I've been pretty bang on with my best bets. Uh, no, uh, oh, don't, to, yeah, don't, head, don't curse you. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I'm, guy, I'm talking you... about a different one. I'm talking about a different okay. one for starters. Yeah, I'm talking about, first of all, was my rate my multi the other day. I think you gave it a four out of 10 for a bit of a laugh, but four dollars. Yeah, no, it's the lines. Uh, I hate betting lines. Yeah, so I just got over the line with that. I was very happy with that rate my multi. And I'm not, yeah, counting my, yeah, chickens before they hatch over here. Uh, but Ons Jabur, she's made it to the uh, ladies' Wimbledon final. Uh, got I, will, out $14. I will go off on Monday and applaud you if this <laughs> lobs. But for I really now, hope, I'm just yeah. sitting on my hands. It's still early. It's still early. But, uh, yeah, she's been absolutely awesome. Jabur has now made her third Grand Slam final. She's coming up against an unseated opponent, actually, in Maketa Von Drusova. Uh, yeah, Von Drusova is yeah unseated player as I just mentioned. I think this would be a really close matchup. Uh, the it's over- like Goran is of in an in an Izovich versus Pat Rafter, however you pronounce his name. <laughs> yeah, like Jabir yeah. will find a way to lose to the unseated one. You're just like, <laughs> oh, I bloody hope not. She as yeah. long as I tell you what, as long as the Australians don't lob in their baggy greens, I think you're sweet. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he's not wrong. Uh, but yeah, Jabir's made her third Grand Slam final now. She made the Wimbledon final last year and lost, but she's a much better player now. She's been the underdog in the last three matches, which has been awesome uh, for yeah, my betting account. Uh, she's been over $2.50 in all the matches, but I think she's around that dollar fifty for this one. Uh, she's just got amazing cross-court winners, drop shot ability, perfect on grass court. And she's looking to be the first ever African player, so she's from Tunisia, to win a major title, which is huh. absolutely awesome. So uh, there's a lot of people backing for her and this would be an awesome effort. Uh, she won in straight sets in the last meeting that she met with Von Drusova, and I think she's even a much more improved player since then. This is the best tennis she's ever played in her career. So Jabir to win. I'm hoping I'm not jinxing it here. Jabir to win and over the 20 and a half total games just because a final usually pretty close and the form that these two are in, it should at least go to the three sets. Uh, so yeah, Jabir in the overs is $2.50 with Labrex, which I'm So is excited. Jabir the favourite? Jabir's the favourite for the first time oh. in about four matches. Yeah. Well, this so, is easy for you, Stats Guy. You get on bet. Fair put a 
Huck, yeah. whatever you've had on Jabir, put in your Betfair account and you hit the pink lay button. Yes. What so, yeah, do. I think, yeah, you can get Von Drusa for just under three bucks at the moment. So, yeah, I'll just really ju- chuck yeah. a few, you, you few lay off, schnackles so on that. This is called smart punting. Stats guys on, on Jabir, I think at $14. Yeah. So, you just go in and whatever price she is, or, or either that or you just back the other person. You know, you have your 50 bucks on them, whatever you're on to win. But you just make sure you cover your stake and win an extra 50 or 60 bucks out of it because yeah. you're in the perfect position given you're on the favorite at $14. So Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. That's called yeah. smart punting punters. Anyway, Absolutely. So hopefully she speaking gets of not smart punting, Gerald, <laughs> hit the bit. Maybe go. Jeez, right. that like bit it. is long. We need to shorten that up. That was Jim's, almost too long. Yeah, letting his presence known, even though he's not here on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like, yes. I like he's it. He's singing like it. somewhere. Anyway. Uh, Yes, the donation this week. Uh, Let's go. How many legs have I got? Like seven, I think. Anyway, Brisbane Lions to get the job done tonight at the MCG. I don't care about the curse. They are just in better form than the Demons. If they do not win this game, they can win the grand final. I'm absolutely calling it. Collingwood to beat Fremantle by 40 plus. I think they'll absolutely hammer them, which also means I think the Swans will beat Fremantle next week. Ooh, okay. Looking ahead. Uh, anyway, Adelaide minus 16 and a half against uh, GWS. I, I don't mind that one as well. That's a short and line, then, yeah. Yeah, then we roll into the Newcastle Knights tonight, minus 11 and a half against the West Tigers, as described yesterday on the Code NRL show. Phil and I are pretty keen on that. Again, with the Broncos minus seven and a half against Canterbury uh, tomorrow afternoon at Belmore. We now need to finish off with some races. Of course we do. Of course. Randwick, race six, number seven, Vienna Princess to win. Absolutely tragic beat last start. Should have bolted in, had no luck whatsoever. Jay Collard on board at Randwick should be winning here. And then we'll just go a nice easy place one at Flemington tomorrow. Race four, number four, Legio 10 for the Godolphin Stable. Just a place, really good couple of runs back this time in. I think it lobs into a place in a very tricky day at Flemington. I think hit the place was one of my better bets there. Stats guy, all of that will get you $128.79 with our that's, good friends at Labrokes. That's obviously still a big amount, but that's your lowest uh, donation one, right? That's pretty, that's pretty good. Also, uh, all of I- the uh, yeah, sports ones other than the horse racing, I'm, I'm yeah, definitely on all of those, uh, and I'll back you with the horse racing, so I don't mind it. Yeah. Can I get in nice and early and also say the Swans next week at $2.05 against Fremantle at the moment? Where, where, is it in- It's in Perth. Perth? Okay. We be- we, we've beaten them the last two times in Perth as well, so- I tell you what, Buddy Franklin taking pack marks last night. I don't mind it whatsoever. And even without a Ruckman. But anyway, before (laughs) we get on to me rambling about how good the Swans are and how we're going to ruin some teams' uh, top eight aspirations, I did say it. We did do it. Anyway, that is (laughs) CoBet Daily done and dusted for your week. Check out all the shows on Apple Podcasts because right now you can still get the AFL preview for the remaining eight games of the week or the NRL games of the week. Of course, you can listen to us on Spotify. If you're listening to us on Spotify, please uh, have a look for the AFL show, the NRL show, and even the EPL show because the EPL show is going to be back in three weeks. We are a month out from the season starting. Arsenal played a practice match last night against Nuremberg. I don't know how it went. I don't care. It's a practice match. I don't <laughs> pay. Match. I honestly do not pay attention to preseason friendlies because nah. I think it means nothing. It was like, yeah, okay, Kai Havertz played. Awesome. Don't care. Just announced Declan Rice. Like, you guys, you don't even know what your formation is going to be this season. No, we got uh, Chelsea. We all have name tags on our on our players. <laughs> oh, who are you? Ah, oh, that's me. That's so yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, check out all the shows. Please check out the website as well because there's a lot of cool stuff going up there over the weekend. A lot of the uh, Women's World Cup stuff will be going up later this week. Weekend. I've got one more preview to write. Stats guy's got his two plus the golden boot. That'll all be up there early be next exciting, week because yeah. we are six days away from the Women's World Cup kicking off. I cannot wait. Stats guy, thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Yeah, you Thanks too. to Gerald for producing. Hopefully the uh, construction at the back of his house stops sometime soon. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Uh, that, that poor dude needs some sleep. He works his ass off for us here at Code Bet. Now, punters, may the odds forever be in your favour. Gamble responsibly. I'm stealing your line stats, guy, because we're going home since the weekend. It's Code Bet Daily. Out. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.